Hello, my name is Craig Resnick, a Vice President, ARC Advisory Group. I'd like to introduce Alan, my special guest today. Alan? Hello, Greg. I am Alan. I am in charge of uh, the drive business for Schneider Electric globally, and I'm very pleased to be with you today. You know, today we're here to talk about service-oriented drives. Can you tell us what a service-oriented drive is, and does Schneider Electric have a service-oriented drive offering? A service-oriented drive is much more than the drive. Uh, above and beyond the traditional uh, functions to control the motor, or control the application, the drive is now capable to deliver services to the customer. All end users now are very focused on their business, on what we call total cost of ownership, operational uh, overall equipment efficiency, sorry, all the acronyms. And uh, the drives has to be built into the overall architectures in order to leverage those capacities and those uh, values for uh, the end user. Now within the drive, there must be some embedded services. Uh, what are some of these embedded services? Can you describe those and what kind of functions do those embedded services provide? I don't want to screen all of them, but I will concentrate on three of them. One being the overall uh, uh, equipment efficiency, or what we call the overall system uh, efficiency, the asset management, and the energy management. Starting by the energy management, what we will find in the drives now is very much a complete, compelling energy monitoring system, starting by the very beginning, which is the metering system, including harmonics, by the way, but because as far as Schneider, we consider uh, harmonics being part of the energy equation. Uh, then, with such a device, we are getting at the right spot, at the right accuracy, and we have localized in the device itself all the local monitoring, like, for instance, stop and start features like we can find in your car or in any kind of uh, application where we need to save energy. This, uh, uh, this is local and real-time, but at the same time, in the service-oriented drives, we'll find uh, data logging, instantiated data logging that can record the drifts, the alarms, not only for the drive, of course, but for the motor and for the application that's itself. If we go for asset management, we have uh, integrated in the service-oriented drives the cons complete concept of um, uh, process object. Process object being the blend between the drive, the motor, and the system, of course, but being also embedding um, asset uh, maintenance facets in order to integrate them the automation systems, which means that preventive and predictive maintenance will be much easier. In addition, we have worked hard in order to make the mobility a real thing which means that the drives are going to be connected everywhere, which is a very much a must in order to provide locally and remotely all the support to the customers by, for instance, providing uh, documentation, case recording systems, all the uh, support that usually you cannot get with uh, digital services. Now, with all these features and the, and the resulting benefits, are there particular industries that you think would benefit more so from a service-oriented drive um, you know, as they're being introduced? I would say that most of the industries that have been uh, embarking already in the concept of total cost of ownership or did also some uh, return on investment uh, for overall equipment efficiency are very much concerned. This is a must in order to have this kind of uh, feasibility uh, down to the device level or to the operation itself. Um, in addition to that, of course, the energy management, the energy intensive industries are very much concerned. Energy being a big now uh, headache for some, uh, for some uh, industries. And if I want to be more specific, I would say that uh, the water wastewater treatment uh, applications segment, or the oil and gas, or the mining minerals, and also food and bev are very much concerned by such a concept. Of course, as I mentioned already, these uh, system-oriented drives could be embedded in any kind of automation architecture, so I don't see, from a technical standpoint, any limits. Well, thank you very much, Alan. You're welcome, Greg. This is Craig Resnick, uh, ARC Advisory Group. Uh, I'm just talking to you today about service-oriented drives. The ARC is very enthusiastic about what we feel is going to be very strong acceptance in the marketplace. 
Have a great day. Thank you very much.